this morning. <laughs> All this right, is going to be big. We're going to break this news this morning. Felony Friday. It's a hashtag, you hashtag know. Hashtag Felony Friday. Uh, ranking member of the House Financial <laughs> Services Committee, Congresswoman Maxine Waters of California. She's soft spoken. She doesn't really doesn't, like to. Doesn't speak her mind. Reluctant to yeah. get out there on a cliff. We're going to reclaim your time. And uh, put it right here on Morning Joe. You were the first to talk about impeachment. Yes. I think that in terms of the press and analysis, you got to be careful. But are we at a point where we should, given the grand jury news that we have received over the past 24 hours? Uh, I've long thought uh, that there was a lot of smoke, even fire, and that uh, everything that I have learned about this president. Uh, starting with uh, the campaign itself, that people should have understood that there was something terribly wrong with him. Uh, as a matter of fact, I've said over and over again, I think he's the most deplorable person I've ever met in my life. And I think when you take a look at his allies and some in his cabinet, all of these people around him with connections to the Ukraine or to Russia or to oil, everybody should have known that. We should have moved faster. Uh, our intelligence committees have not moved fast enough, but I have my hopes on Mueller, as most people do. I think he's going to connect the dots, and I think we are nearing a constitutional crisis. What about with General oh. Kelly coming in as chief of staff? Are you hoping? Hopeful as an American that he may be able to stabilize things inside the Oval no, Office. No, no. We've been talking about this president becoming presidential or transitioning long enough. It's not going to happen. Uh, he is a flawed man uh, with no real values and no real appreciation or understanding for government or public policy. No, I have no hopes that anybody is going to be able to contain him or that he's going to change. Mm. It, it's clear, obviously, from your comments, not just here this morning, but in the past, that you don't like President Trump. You call him deplorable this morning. Yes. But there's a difference between a, a person being deplorable, as you say, not having values, and being worthy of impeachment. I mean, that there has to be evidence and, and charges brought. Oh, of course. Or something like that. So it sounds yes. like you've gotten to a place where you, you're saying, let's wait for Bob Mueller's investigation before we start thinking about I've that. always said that the dots have to be connected. And I've always said that I believe that he was impeachable. And uh, I'm very pleased that I have to generate the conversation about him. I know I was early, and I know that uh, I talked about Manafort and some of the others. Uh, very early, more than most people were talking about. But of course, you have to have the information. You have to connect the dots. I think it's there. You know Congress this Congress. Congress. You know specifically, yes. you know, the members of this Congress sure. who are there every day. Will this Congress, with its big Republican majority, ever, under any circumstances, you know, smoking gun, corpse, yes, the whole nine yes, yards, yes. will it impeach? Shooting somebody in middle of Fifth Avenue. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Will it impeach, ever impeach Donald Trump? You know, what I'm betting on? I'm betting on when the dots are connected and Mueller is able to show collusion. Uh, I'm banking on the patriotism of some of the Americans, most of them. They won't be able to stand with him if it is proven that they colluded, uh, that they undermined our democracy, interfering with our elections, that they're going to be able to see that this president is dangerous. And I do believe that patriotism will end, will uh, win, rather, in the final analysis. Alice. Congressman, we were talking yes. earlier about certain senators are starting to kind of stand up, for yes. lack of a better word. With some of your uh, friends across the aisle in the House, are you hearing whispers for them, not on the record, but off the record? Are you starting to sense that more and more along just the lines of this Senate, that a lot, a lot of the Republican congressmen are starting, starting to go, yeah, we got to get off this train? Well, I've talked with a few quietly and privately, and no, I've not heard yet. Uh, that they're ready to move, but I have picked up that they are uh, concerned, uh, that they are uncomfortable, and that even though they are not at this point uh, saying that they will turn against him and they would support impeachment, I have sensed the uneasiness and I've heard the concern. So, uh, what what connection uh, do you think there is between Donald Trump? financially in Russia. Do you have any information? No, here's what I, I believe. I believe that this president tried to convince Putin that he could lift those sanctions. I believe that he had Putin believing that he had the power and the influence to do that. And this is what I think it's all about. I think it's about drilling in the Arctic, 
And I think it's about lifting those sanctions and all of those people and allies of the president surrounding him, whether it's Roger Stone or Manafort, all of them are some kind of way involved in uh, the sanctions issue. Uh, take a look at what Putin is saying now. He is truly disappointed. He, is, he thought right. this president would be able to do that. And so it's going to be interesting to see what unfolds and what he's willing to do. We know that he's kicking out some of our diplomats, most of them, uh, at this point. But I think it's going to get worse because he is disappointed. Nothing. He thought that this president would be able to lift the sanctions. Maxine, there's nothing as sad as love going bad and romance going bad, yeah. And yes. Scoring lovers, Vladimir Putin, Donald Trump. That's right. No new the news in between them. Willie, mm -hmm. it's off the rose. <laughs> Congresswoman Maxine Waters, thank you so much. You're welcome. It's great to see you. Good to see you. Don't too. mess. I didn't. I, 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 as I've always said, I used to go up on the floor and hug her, and she'd push me away, saying, you're killing me in my district. But she hugged me off screen today. Yeah, I don't want anybody to know it, though. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Still ahead, much more on the federal grand jury, uh, and they convened as part of the Russia investigation. We're going to be talking to the Wall Street Journal reporter who broke that story, plus the president's response to a fired-up crowd of supporters in West Virginia, 33%. Never sounded so good. Morning Joe, back in a moment. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.